What I have right there is an Anytone 778 UV, and we're gonna do some programming. I got the laptop booted up with Chirp. So the first thing I'm gonna do is power it up. And I'm gonna pull my mic out. The radio comes with a programming cable. So then you're gonna plug the programming cable in. And then come over here, plug it into a USB slot. Now the first thing you wanna do in Chirp, if you've never programmed it before, and I wanna show you this, is to download from the radio. So now the screen's gonna come up and it's gonna say cloning, whoops. Hold on, what is going on here? I just want to point this part out before you can download from your radio, you need to enter in your radio in the screen. So when that prompts up and it says port, you got to enter in the port, you got to enter the vendor number and then the radio model. So that's basically what I'm doing here. Any tone. And then I'm selecting what I figure will be the radio. And it says, no, it's not. So now I have to go back and I have to select the box one. And once I select the box, then I'm able to read from the radio. And that's how it works. This should be the one. There we go. Not sure why I did it. So it's going to say cloning from radio. And up top there, it says PC read. And we just have to wait for that to finish reading. We're almost there, right away. So you can see right there, you see that gap in number one there? And I got all my channels. The problem with that is is that when I cut and pasted, somehow it wouldn't cut and paste number one, so I had to go to number two. However, I actually created a file that corrects that. Wait, I gotta go to open, so I'm gonna go file. I'm gonna go open. So I'm gonna go any tone complete. I'm gonna open that. So you can see right there now. So in order to get it into channel one, you have to manually enter that in by itself. So, and then I cut and paste it from number two on. So now I should be able to upload to the radio and it says cloning to radio. And we got the PC right. We just gotta wait for that to get completed. Oh, we're almost done. Almost there, almost there. Perfect. That should come off PC right. Reboot, okay. Now you see it's in, it shows the channel numbers. So I'm gonna hold down the function. And so we gotta go into function menu. Number three, and we want to call it channel. So now when I back out, there. All my channels will be in. Once you're done, plug your microphone back in and you are good to go. There you have it. I plugged the microphone back in. The radio is good to go for some off-road and travel adventures. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, post them below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.